Now, the WGAL News 8 Storm Team Forecast with meteorologist TJ Springer. It's been an unsettled Memorial Day across the valley, but we have had some dry periods in there. We've been watching some storms now, and thankfully with the clouds that we've had today, from what was left over last night into this morning, we held on to that stability. We were just talking about that during the break. It was a conditional threat. We did have that potential for severe weather, and these storms are still putting down some heavy rain, some lightning, but with that cloud cover, our atmospheric stability remained in check. There is a warning down across the Mason Dixon line now moving through some of Carroll County. Now that includes Western Baltimore County, but north of the Mason Dixon line across the valley, we have a couple of cells that we're monitoring. Some more have perked up closer to uh, Mifflin County now into Snyder and Northumberland, but one that's closing in on the capital city using live local eight. We've been keeping tabs on some heavy rain on top of Wurtsville just to the southwest of Dolphin, getting close to uh, US 11, and this will be moving into the capital city here in the near term. So heads up, could have some lightning, a little bit of a gusty wind, and it's a heavy rain. You can see the rain right there. It's heavy. That's the rain shaft. It's an ominous looking view, but a cool view in the capital city. Thankfully not severe, but still heavy rain moving closer to Harrisburg. And I mentioned this already, the clouds, that's the big reason why our severe weather threat today didn't materialize. And we talked about this during the weekend. We had that potential, but if the clouds were going to stick around, we weren't going to have that instability, which is a huge ingredient for storms. We had the moisture, we had the lift, but we did not have that instability. It did increase a little bit when the sun peaked out, but it's a, it was a race against the clock because that lift was moving east quickly and the instability really couldn't catch up. And that's why we haven't seen much out there, which is a good thing. But I know we had to adjust some plans and cancel some parades. So that's always tough. Now we do have this watch in effect until nine o'clock. Wouldn't be shocked if this does get canceled a bit early. There is a tornado watch down to the south for Maryland. But I, with what we have in play now, I don't think we're going to see too much more. But of course, stay tuned to that WGAL app. You can have radar in the palm of your hand. So we'll stay low for damaging wind, large hail, tornadoes, but heavy rain. We'll keep that in the moderate or medium category because of the moisture that we have in the air. Temps are in the 80s right now in Carlisle, 79 in Gettysburg, 79 as well in the Red Rose City. A little cooler for those of you in Sealands Grove where it is 72. Now through the remainder of the evening, we're going to hang on to the mid to upper 70s. We'll hold on to that potential for maybe a rogue stronger storm, but I think our threat is really diminishing quite quickly through tonight. Could have a stray shower or thunderstorm early as the front sweeps in moving through without really any big activity, but it's going to feel refreshing as soon as it does get through. So for tomorrow, It'll still be warm around 80, but during the morning, it's going to feel a lot better. Dew points in the 50s, but with the upstairs energy on top of us, we'll watch out for a few showers and rumbles late in the day. Now with less rain, the pollen levels spike once again. So if you're an allergy sufferer, you want to keep tabs on that. Burn time of only 25 minutes, but the air quality is in the good category. Mold levels are high. Here's a picture. There go tonight's storms. Through the late evening, we're clearing. There's the cold front. You can see it doesn't bring much. There's the wind switch back around from the west. That downsloping flow brings drier air in, and it's going to feel a bit better for us as we kick off our day tomorrow. And of course, we're all talking about the open. It kicks off on Thursday. We're expecting comfy conditions, cool conditions, maybe a stray shower storm with some lingering energy, but overall looking pretty good to kick it off. On the News 8 Storm Team 10 day, back into the middle 70s on Friday as high pressure builds. A lot of sunshine that holds for the weekend, so really a good couple of days for golf. Nearly 80, I think, on Saturday. Sunday, maybe a spotty shower storm, but it looks unsettled once again with more chances for showers and thunderstorms Monday into the latter half of next week.